Hi, Matt Deegan here, and in today's Speedy session, I'll be talking through importing and exporting MIDI in Ableton Live 10. So MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface and is a communication protocol which basically means it carries information such as velocity, pitch, duration, tempo, time signatures and that sort of thing. Most DAWs have MIDI communication and it's a really useful and versatile way of storing information and it can be moved between DAWs really easily. In order to import MIDI from, say here I've got it on my desktop, you simply just click and you can drag it on and here I've dragged it onto a MIDI channel. If I was going to drag it onto an audio channel it would so it's now converted the audio channel to be a MIDI channel and it's loaded it there. If I were to drag it onto this space here so where it says drop files and devices then it's going to create a MIDI channel and load it. If I have multiple MIDI clips as I have here then I can drag them in and it's going to try and load them on different channels which I could do if I wanted and you can see it's created a MIDI channel there. If I wanted to have them on the same channel then if I press command and then let go then it's going to load them onto the single channel. There are no sounds related to the MIDI data by default. In order to add sounds a software or hardware instrument is required. So here if I go into the browser and if I grab a piano for instance and drag that on top then it's going to play the MIDI data using the software instrument. So it's using the sounds of the software instrument and it's using things like the velocity and the pitch and all those things of the MIDI data. This works in either the session or the arrangement view. If I wanted to add some of this information here to the arrangement view, for instance, if I just drag these together. So I'm going to shift click that and now I'm going to click, left click and I'm going to hold and then I'm going to press tab, come across and then I can dump the data in there. So here we have it. So I've got the MIDI information now in the arrangement view. In order to export MIDI for use outside of Ableton, firstly highlight it, then right click and this menu will pop up and it says export MIDI clip. So that's the shortcut is shift command and E. So if we click on that and then you can name the file and then save it where you want to save it. Alternatively, if you navigate to the file and then go to export MIDI clip, so this, again it's the same shortcut which is shift command and E and it will give you the same menu. You can't export more than one MIDI clip at a time. If I highlight two of them by shift clicking and then if I right click you can see there's different menu pops up and there's no option and on the file menu you can see that the export MIDI clip has been greyed out. That's it for this speedy session. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe for weekly Ableton tips. Mm -hmm.